Hey everyone, today we're talking about the 4K Gamer Pro by PhotoFast. It is actually a sequel to the original 4K Gamer. This is a tool intended to make Nintendo Switch and other platforms uh, upscale to 4K in a much cleaner fashion than the individual platform can do, which in the case of Switch, it can do it, or better than a TV can do, because TVs do have their own uh, upscaling technology. Sometimes works really well with movies and television. Sometimes. Doesn't usually work that well with games. In fact, games often look extremely blurry no matter the setting. So, uh, the, of course, we're talking about if it's 1080p or less being upscaled to 4K, not obviously anything that already upscales natively on the platform or is native 4K like we see with PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X or Xbox One X or PlayStation 4 Pro. Uh, you know you know what we're talking about here. We're talking about upscaling the Switch and making it not look like crap on your big 65, 75, 85-inch 4K TVs because that's really what this is intended for. And there's other options on the market, right? There is the M Classic as well. And there's a couple differences between the M Classic and the 4K Gamer Pro. The 4K Gamer Pro does not attempt to do any sort of anti-aliasing. Uh, that is, you know, sort of a negative. However, while the M Classic does do some sort of pseudo anti-aliasing to your game, which can make it look a bit smoother, unfortunately, the M Classic does not support full color RGB. So because of that, certain games, not many, but certain games end up looking not so hot because the colors are wrong. Now, how does this technology work in terms of the M Classic and the 4K? Uh, the 4K Gamer Pro, while it doesn't have the anti-aliasing, has three different settings, uh, so you can really uh, lighten or intensify the effect as much as you like, which is something the M Classic doesn't offer. It's basically, you plug in the M Classic, you set and forget. Uh, whereas the 4K Gamer Pro, you can hit a button on it four times, four times will turn it off, three times are the three different settings, it's like 20%, 50%, and 100%, uh, and it just kind of increases the effect. Now, what these, uh, both of them do, the M Classic and the uh, 4K Gamer Pro, what they attempt to do is, instead of doing what most TVs do, where they take the individual pixel, blow up that pixel to 4K, but then try to separate that pixel into like four or five different sections, they try to blur the lines a bit more between those color differences uh, by making guesses at where the colors would go if it was a native 4K image. And in doing so, often create a much sharper looking image. And one thing you'll notice with the 4K Gamer Pro, as you're noticing in the footage so far, is that it does increase the sharpness of the game. Now, you can increase the sharpness with your television, but it won't have the correct color pixelation. So while the sharpness may, might make the image look a little better, it's not going to actually get rid of the blurriness. And I, I tested this across a number of games. We're primarily focused on Breath of the Wild. Uh, we also played a little bit of Kirby and the Forgotten Land. And then we actually checked out Apex Legends on Switch. And look, you might not like Apex Legends. I really don't care. The game is super blurry on TV. It's not even that great on handheld, but in TV mode... Apex Legends is a hot mess in terms of the blurriness. I don't know how you can even see enemies on a big screen unless you have this. And I think that's the, the that's the one instance where I saw the 4K Gamer Pro really stand out was, man, it's like a night and day difference between blurry and actually being able to see characters, which in a multiplayer game like this, being able to see the characters is a pretty big deal. So... Yeah, I, I actually am quite impressed. It almost felt like I was playing on a new Switch. Like, this was an upgraded Switch I'm magically playing on. This is that Switch Pro we've been asking for. Now, some people don't like how much it sharpens it up. Again, that's why you can obviously change the settings to uh, lessen the sharpness of the image. But I got to say, the 4K Gamer Pro... Uh, by PhotoFast actually did a really good job. I mean, you're seeing it right now, and... Again, this footage really does better justice on a big screen TV rather than uh, here. I did do a direct record 4K 60 through the Aver Media 4K Gamer Pro, which it just is, is a direct capture card for 4K. Uh, it records HDR as well if HDR was supported. We know Switch doesn't support HDR, so that doesn't matter. Uh, but basically, I just went from the high setting to off, the high setting to off. I didn't want to mess with, mess with the between settings. You know, I did actually mess with them a little bit, but I mean, I didn't want to try to present them because, to, to be honest, um, I'm actually more curious what this thing does at full blast 
Uh, if you want, if you want to tone down the sharpness, that, that's up to you individually. Now you can't actually buy these yet. They're not available to like, oh, let me go on Amazon and buy one and have it shipped to me. They do have a Kickstarter right now. They are shipping them later this fall. And one thing I'm really happy to announce is that we are giving away two of these during Prime Gaming Fest. And what's notable about that is that uh, these aren't cheap. So the M Classic runs about $100, um, but again, doesn't have full RGB support. Uh, the 4K Gamer Pro runs about 150 to 170 So it is more expensive, but you also get a lot more uh, settings with it. You get the ability to mess with things. You do lose anti-aliasing, which will annoy some people. Uh, what's interesting, though, is you can actually pair this with an M Classic. I'm not saying that you should, because now you're spending pretty much the entire cost of a brand new Switch. Uh, but you can actually pair it with an M Classic. So you could take advantage of the different sharpness settings here before it hits the M Classic, which can add the anti-aliasing, and you can actually get the best of both worlds. But... I don't have an M Classic on hand to show you how that works. I've seen some people mess around with this on YouTube a little bit, uh, but again, you know, to, to varying degrees of success. I don't know which order if they went, you know, 4K Gamer Pro to M Classic or M Classic to 4K Gamer Pro. Uh, they are individually powered, so I don't know. I find this really nice. I also like that with this one, you don't have to unplug it if you j don't like the setting, like. Let's say in a particular game, let's say it's Mario Kart 8 or something, you don't like the sharpness being added, even at 20%. That's what's cool about this is you just click the button and turn it off. You don't have to disconnect it. The M Classic is one where you basically have to unplug it and, and plug in uh, your normal stuff. This one you don't, so that is one benefit as well is you could just let it bypass or use the settings on it. Quick change per game. I, I do enjoy that. Uh, it would be cool if there was a controller for it so I don't have to actually walk up to my dock and uh, click the button. But hey, you know what? It, at least it's an option. So that's really what you're paying for is the extra options with this one over the M Classic. And uh, it's just nice to have competition out there. And I really, really enjoy this uh, this this add-on. I didn't think it was going to make a big difference, but we have like a 75 or 80-inch TV or 85 I don't even know. That giant TV you see on our podcast set, and uh, that's the best TV in the house and has all of the mystical 4K HDR goodness, and I was shocked because like, I basically can't play my Switch on that TV. It is so damn blurry. Every game is so damn blurry, and it's re I can't really show it to you guys. It doesn't really... Hey, it's hard to convey through you know an off-screen an off look, uh, but damn, did this make a big difference. So... I don't know. Enjoy whatever footage I have left, and uh, I'll catch you guys in my next video.